So Redway, Redway, Redway's ERT team came up with a scoring mechanism called the APT score. APT stands for Advanced Persistent Threat. The reason that Redway came up with the score is because in the past, in the denial of service world, what Radware saw was attacks were quick, they were, they were very short, and either the attack was blocked or it wasn't. What we have today are attack campaigns which last a longer period of time. The attack vectors are more complicated. There's multiple attack vectors. And this score comprises all of these various uh, components into it. For instance, we take into account how long the campaign was, how many attack vectors there were, how complicated each attack vector was. For instance, a, a sin flood is considered something that's not such a complicated attack vector, whereas a dynamic HTTP flood might be something that's uh, more complicated, so our score will go up. And if the duration was longer, this will also increase the APT score, which is scored out of 10. Now, the reason we actually need this score is because we wanted to portray to our customers that in Radware, uh, we see this trend uh, on the increase we, it started, let's say, around a year ago. It's been increasing ever since. Attack campaigns are more advanced, they're more organized. The groups like Anonymous uh, and all other anarchist groups have got together. They, when they select a target, they want to make sure that this target comes down and that service availability will be impacted on the customer's site. This means that if you have any kind of security device on the network, in our case we use the Defense Pro, uh, eventually the attackers may find a way to bypass it. This is true with uh, all security devices. So what you need is you need a team to back you up, which is the ERT team in Radware, which will understand what attack vectors are happening real time, analyze these attack vectors, and come up with a solution uh, together with the customer to mitigate this threat.